While this overweight person switches their diet over and starts to eat very healthfully, and they start dropping weight at approximately a kilogram a week, that's about a pound every three days. And if they're dropping weight while they're still overweight, we see the amount of reactive oxygen species, the ability to promote cytokine storm, their insulin resistance, their promotion of aromatase excitation, and all these negative factors that's caused by being overweight starts to go down and to become more normal, even while they remain overweight, as long as their body is flooded with nutritional adequacy and they're losing weight and they continue the weight loss going. A person who's um, what I don't want people to think that if you're overweight, it's a death sentence because now that I'm overweight, I'm going to die. Because if you're losing weight relatively at a reasonable rate, and I'm saying, you know, person on my program, they generally lose about 15 pounds between, you know, 12 and 20 pounds the first month, around 8 to 12 pounds the second month. So it, it levels off to about two pounds a week. And our studies and the investigations on also on people who've gone through gastric bypass and lap band, when they're losing weight at about the eight pounds a month range, we start to see insulin resistance go down. They become non-diabetic even while they still have extra weight on their body. So what I'm saying right now is at that, at that degree of nutritional excellence, we see dramatic improvements in immune function, even while the person still is not at their normal weight yet. So a nutritarian is a person who's at their normal weight, or it's a person who's overweight, but they're moving steadily towards their normal weight, eating right. So now that we're allowing their immune system to have a full exposure to the right nutrients, their immune systems will start to normalize and their white blood cell counts will drop over time they will become more normal, is that people on, an, on the diet style that I recommend, that I call a nutritarian diet, which is, which is naturally high in green vegetables. It's a diet where we're encouraging people to eat a big salad every day, right? I want people to have a big raw salad once a day, and I want them to use a dressing not made of oil, but instead use nuts and seeds as the source of fat to facilitate the absorption of the phytochemicals, but also because nuts and seeds aren't fattening like oil is. But in any case, so they're having this, and they're probably having vegetable bean soup a day with cooked onions and, and mushrooms in there, and they're also probably additionally to that, having a serving of maybe mixed vegetables that are walked or is conservatively cooked, not overcooked, but are somewhat conservatively cooked. So they're having multiple sources of vegetables a, a day in their diet. So what I'm saying right now is that which with, with a high exposure to these phytochemicals and antioxidants, we're gonna see gradually improvement of the immune system reactivity, less allergic potential, less asthma is gonna improve, and the white blood cells go down over time. So the normal range of white blood cells between five and 10 on a Quest or LabCorp blood test, I'm saying that's not the normal range for a nutritarian or a person who eats so healthily, because our white blood cells drop to much lower levels than that. I'm considering a normal level, let's say between 2.2 and 7, instead of between 5 and 10. And I'm suggesting that the battery in the flashlight keeps its charge because we keep the flashlight turned off. If we're running the flashlight all the time, when you go to use it, it's going to be a dull battery. It's going to, the flashlight's not going to light up the room. The point I'm making right now is when you're chronically stimulating white blood cells to be reacting against inflammation and reactive oxygen species all the time, then when you get sick and exposed to a virus, it, it has a limited ability to react quickly and to react effectively.